You know, there are many charitable foundations, there are many great causes in the country, and many of Canadians, it's after all a national tradition to be civic. Many Canadians for generations have been supporting these causes, which really are the backbone of our city and of our whole culture. You're sitting in a museum, you're going to the hospital, you're going to universities, all that has come about because of the exceptional civic pride and the generosity of Canadians. In my case, you know, I wasn't born here. And as such, I have maybe a touch greater affinity to the international aspect of a new generation and a new trend that Canada will reject at its peril or embrace for its gain. And that's globalization. And some of us may oppose it. And we have somebody here on a podium who will part two people who may oppose it. But whether we oppose it or not, it's going to come. And Canada must be a vital participant. And you can only be a vital participant if you are aware and you appreciate the events that form that kind of global audience. And you know, that really was the fundamental reason that our foundation has funded at the University of Toronto, my alma mater, the Monk Center of International Studies. And that's exactly the objective we had in mind when we talked to Rudyard and our, at our board meeting we decided to sponsor the Monk debates. I cannot tell you how, over just about the past year, how the issues they raised, the people they bring in here, actually not only created additional awareness, but makes all of us, all of us Canadians, much more aware, much more involved, and therefore less afraid of the concept of globalization. It's so easy to be inward looking. It is so easy to be xenophobic. It is so easy to be nationalistic. The hard thing is to go into the unknown. And globalization, to the average Canadian, was an unknown idea. And so these debates are meant to contribute to an informed debate. They're meant to contribute to a stimulus to people so that they feel more comfortable with issues, they become more familiar with issues, and therefore they are more comfortable participating. It is essential for our country's future that we bring up a generation of people who are vital participant in the global affairs of the world, because that's an inevitable happening. Uh, thank you.